Welcome back to the Weekend Scouter. In this video, we're going to talk about rocket launch, specifically making the rockets for the event. To start, you'll need two two liter bottles that we'll be cutting up one of them to use the top and bottom or portions of it to make our rocket body. You can buy those at any store. You can use any brand that you want. We prefer Coke brand. They seem to work best with our launcher. You'll need some duct tape. Um, duct tape will be a good casing for it to really stiffen it up for to hold more pressure. You can buy duct tape at any Dollar Tree 99 cent store. Uh, you're limited to the colors that you can get there. Um, at the 99 cent store Dollar Tree, uh, you can buy some Play-Doh, which we use to weight the nose, and that gives it a little bit of some projectile to it. Uh, and we use about two ounces of this. You can buy four containers for a dollar, which means you get you know, about uh, eight rockets out of it. We use two ounces. We find that that's perfect for the rockets using two and a half uh, cups of water. You'll need a uh, foam board or a small piece of cardboard for the fins. And then to create a pointed nose cone, we'll need a piece of poster board, which you can also get at the 99 cent store. To start, we're gonna cut out the fins. Typically, uh, most rockets have three to four fins. Uh, I've seen some of our scouts build them with two fins. Um, in our builds, as lions and tigers, uh, our den would typically make templates that the boys can trace out on a small piece of foam board like this that we give them. And then that way there's really a design that they pick already pre-made that they get to then trace out and cut so that the boys don't have to spend too much time measuring and, and things like that they can actually get to the build. Um, so what we're gonna do is simply take a pen um, ma and make a, uh, a design, something similar to you know just a standard rocket, a fin, and then something like basic like this. Okay, remember when these go on the rocket, they're going on the spout side of the rocket. So they'll be going down towards the bottom. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and cut this first one out. So what we'll do is just trace this a number of times for this rocket. I'm gonna go ahead and just use um, three fins that we'll put on. And each one of these fins uh, is actually gonna be uh, covered in duct tape. So it doesn't really matter what kind of foam board or cardboard you're gonna use. Uh, it is gonna be um, covered in the duct tape of your choosing, whatever color. Um, and that way, um, you, your, your rocket comes out to what you want it to be. Okay, so after your fins are cut out, uh, you're gonna take and duct tape them. Um, duct tape them all the way around. You can leave the one thing that's gonna go closest to your, your bottle open. Um, this way, uh, any water coming out of the rocket at launch isn't gonna saturate the fin. Again, you're probably gonna get one or two launches out of these. Um, something similar to this one will happen. They will hit the ground and they will dent up. Uh, again, it is more of a one-time launch type application. Um, but duct tape these as best as you can. And then uh, what we'll do is we're gonna move on to the next step, which is um, taking our pieces off the single bottle so that we can add them to the new bottle. Okay, so important note, um, it's very important you don't use hot glue when building these rockets. Hot glue can actually weaken the plastic and cause a burst when we pressurize these bottles. So what we always like to do is uh, use duct tape just to put them together. Um, it's really easy to do. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're, first we're gonna cut off the top portion so we can use it for the nose cone on the body. And to do that, what we normally do is this slightly below the bottom piece here, you can, you can go ahead and just cut. Uh, it's real easy to, to start that with an X-Acto knife or a pair of scissors, and then just simply cut out the top portion, just like this, see? You're just gonna cut it around so you get a nice, full, clean circle if you can. If not, it doesn't matter. Uh, if you cut off a little bit, it, it's simply gonna go on the other side of the, of the two liter bottle, like this. So now we're gonna have a nose. Um, again, later what we're gonna do is wrap this to make it a little sharper nose cone out of some of the poster board that we've uh, gathered and we'll show how to do that. But for now, what you can do, go ahead and cut that off and get that ready. But before we mount that, what we're gonna do is take our Play-Doh that we got from the Dollar Tree. And again, we only need half this because we only need about, need about two ounces of this. You can go anywhere from two to four ounces. 
um, depending on how much uh, pressure and stuff you're using. We only pressurize these for about 70 pounds, okay? And that, we found that works really well in our program. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and we'll just cut this in half and we'll just go ahead and use the two ounces. Looks like it's about right. Um, we'll set the rest of it aside for a, another rocket. And what we're gonna do is take the body of it and we're just gonna kind of smash it down on the top of the rocket, trying to get it equally, um, you know, all sides equal. It is very important because if you don't, your rocket will, you know, veer off one way or the other. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and push that down. Once you have it pushed down, uh, it is real easy. Just take up some duct tape, nice little stretch of duct tape like this, and actually tape over it like this. That way, you can get a couple pieces of duct tape on there. It will stay in place. Um, this duct tape, I mean, this uh, Play-Doh could dry, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna have a big ball of a mess inside there. So now you have, you have this weighted section, right? So what that's gonna happen when the pressure rises up, it's gonna have, the pressure's gonna have something to push. Um, if you don't weight the top, your rocket's gonna just kind of flutter around and it actually won't take off, it'll just kind of flip end over end. All right, now that we have our weight on there, we have it taped down and stable, uh, we can go ahead and place the nose cone on. Again, the nose cone is just gonna be there to protect uh, some of our weight that we've put in there for balance. Um, and you can either leave it like this or take some poster board and actually make a more of a, a slighted nose cone that kind of looks more pointed. So when you mount these, you simply put them on here like so, right? Just kind of push it down. But what you wanna do is you wanna look at it and actually make sure that it's, it's, it's on there straight, kind of twist it. If you twist it a little bit, you can see. And this actually looks pretty good, right? So what we're gonna do then is just take some of that duct tape that we've been using. And uh, for this theme, you know, maybe we'll just go like a blue and yellow to be more of like a Cub Scout color. So what we'll do is just take some of this and we're just gonna simply put it around like this. And again, you may get some wrinkles in here, but that's fine. It, it, it really doesn't matter. Um, it's, it's all about the finished product, what it looks like in the end. Um, you can paint these if you wanted, uh, you know, spray paint if, you're, if your scout wanted to paint it um, and all that. All I know for the builds that we um, will be doing in the future, we'll be cutting out majority of these pieces and setting them on a table and letting our scouts pick and choose what pieces they want to do. And then the templates for the fins, you know, you'll have multiple kind laid out that they can grab and then they'll cut out themselves. And then uh, for the duct tape, you know, they'll probably bring their own or we'll have a selection that they'll, they'll do. Um, in our program, we, we have themes that they can win off of, you know, best use of the scout theme, uh, best rocket looking. Uh, for instance, this past one we did, we used uh, Star Wars as an inspiration. So best Star Wars looking theme, um, things like that. So from this point, what you're gonna do is again, just cover the whole thing in duct tape. Okay, so I went ahead and finished duct taping the body. I left the uh, top clear because we're going to go ahead and put our nose cone over that. Um, I also took an, uh, a second color of silver duct tape to cover the bottom, you know, kind of a flare out of the, of the rocket engine area. Again, you can just use a bunch of small strips on here. Um, my my son has showed interest in the past of making his own stickers. So what he did here is he made some uh, Cub Scout stickers. He was going for the best use of the Cub Scout theme. And what we did is we just printed these out, uh, his name, his den, and his pack, and then each rank, which was really nice. So he had each like tiger, wolf, lion, bears, weeblos, arrow, light. And all you do is simply uh, uh, print them out and then use just some regular masking tape to cover them over. It looked really good. Um, he came in, uh, you know, third place, I think, when they were talking about uh, for this um, theme. So it worked out really well. Um, and this was a really good rocket this year. So he's kind of going to go ahead and try, try to duplicate the same thing. But um, we'll, we'll see how that turns out. Uh, but back to this. Um, so what you're going to do to do your nose cone, just cut out a small piece of poster board. If you guys have some file folders or something laying around, you can do that. Simply small square. If you fold it in half like this, and you can simply make a nose cone like that, right? And then you can just cut it down to the, the size you want. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and grab a small piece of duct tape, and I'm gonna have my little assistant hold that for me. 
And what we're going to do is then we are going to go ahead and just kind of do that, squeeze it like this, right? And then what we're going to do is take our duct tape and put it along the edge just to kind of hold it in place for us, right? Just so that it doesn't unravel, right? And then what you can do is you can kind of test fit that how you want it. See, there we go. We test fit it. We, we, we see what the rocket's going to look like. And then what we're going to do is just take our scissors, kind of just cut up where we think it's going to be, and then just kind of cut round it, right? This could be a little complicated. Um, child safety scissors work perfect for this. Um, that way you don't have to worry about your scouts injuring themselves on some sharp scissors like these ones. Um, simply just cut around. There you go. Almost looks like a party hat. Little big, little small party hat. Um, and then test fit it. There we go, look at that. Test fits on there again. One more time, have your scouts look and just verify the alignment that it looks good across there. And then simply take uh, some more duct tape and just like you did in the beginning, when you uh, put the top piece on, just fill the top piece. Just, just put it on there and duct tape it down. Okay, now that we've went ahead and taped the top and got all the tape done for the body, our rocket is actually looking pretty good. It looks pretty straight and, and things like that. So um, the next part is to actually add the fins. We, we got three fins, so we're gonna put them kind of equal apart. One of the cool things that you can do with your scouts is buy some wax paper, uh, pre-cut or tear some of uh, the uh, duct tape off that way, when your scouts go to do it, they don't have to tear it, it's real easy to pull off. I mean, it's real simple, you know, and then you can just put them on here. So one of the ways that you put these um, fins on is you simply take that and you put it on the side and then you lay it down, right? And you put it, the one piece on, and then you take another piece right here and you make this thing as straight as possible up and down and you corner it in there like this and you put it on there. Now, what you can do to make this a little more stable is just put a couple more pieces on after the fact to really cover it and make sure it's real nice and straight. If not, it could veer off to the side. So what we'll do is we'll put this next one on, kinda, you know, we wanna make sure that, like I said, they're equal apart and things. We're gonna go ahead and take our piece, put it on here like this again, and we're just gonna kinda lay it on here like this, pinch it down, you know, make sure it's laid down. We're gonna take that last piece and Again, we're gonna, let me get it to your, your side of view here. And we're gonna just lay it on here like this, push it up and then just lay it in there and put your finger along that edge, get it all nice and down. And again, we'll put some more across there cause we'll make this whole section here kind of blue. So you'll have blue and then yellow. So there we go, we got two on. So what we wanna do is make sure they're kind of even. Make that third one kind of like even from those. So you'll like look right down the middle there and we'll go ahead and put that on. So what we'll do, again, we're gonna put this, and as we're looking down, the thing, we'll go ahead and lay this on like that. So it's really, as soon as we get it, again, your scouts, you know, see this, um, the majority of these rockets launch really good, and some of the exciting things about this whole thing is the rockets doing pretty stuff. The boys and, and siblings that depend on this, um, have exciting rockets, rockets just go wherever they go. Um, so what we do, again, we got all our fins on there, it's looking good, our rockets looking pretty good, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this off this whole section of blue, double up these, make sure all sections of the things are covered, and now we have a really good blue, blue block. All right, we'll get you after this, we'll finish up this, and we'll talk about a few things, and then we'll go into closing this out, and then we'll have a picture of the rockets. Okay, so I built my rocket. I used some green tape. And then I use some silver to use the stripes. And I put the cone blue. And then I put the bottom black. And then I just put like pointy fins. And I put them blue because I wanted to. And that's pretty much our, our rocket. Okay, so I made the rocket with um, silver tape and um, I added rainbow stripes on it with blue at the end and I made like a bullet shaped nose. I also made um, rounded fins with yellow tape. In a future episode, we are actually gonna build the rocket launch, uh, a three platform rocket launch and launch these off. Um, so in that build, we will actually take and build the rocket, go out to a site and launch them so that you guys can see how the rocket launch actually works. Um, until then, um, thank you for watching.